So, uh, just a quick video on battery packs from laptops. Um, it doesn't really matter where you get these from, whether you got it from your local PC shop or whether you get it from your IT department. It would be nice to know something about the history of this battery pack, and there is a way of finding out. I've gone to this website here, powercartel.com, and I've looked at this project called Pack Probe. And indeed, yes, by connecting into the uh, connections on the... Uh, battery itself and with a little bit of software on an Arduino Pro Mini or some other similar uh, hardware from Arduino you can actually find out data um, on the chips of the batteries themselves so quick look under the hood again this is not a detailed look but um, I've just got a little Pro Mini in there connected up to the USB a couple of resistors there for the uh, clock and data lines and really very simple. You don't need a voltmeter, but you know I, I found it sort of uh, useful to include that. The connections to the battery. Well, look, um, there is information on the website, uh, and you do have to be careful, obviously, right, by putting these sort of terminals directly in here. But really, you've just got the negative, you've got the positive. Um, hooked up to the negative also via a resistor here, you've, you've just got a, a battery enable because there won't be any voltage on these terminals unless uh, this battery enable signal is present. The only other connections are the data and the clock lines. So just to take a look at the sort of data that you can get out from this um, very quickly. Opening up the Arduino IDE and then just going directly to the serial monitor. And you can see immediately the data is coming out from here and it's actually polling once per second. I'll just stop that auto scrolling and take the camera in a little bit closer. So I'm not too sure whether you can see that here, but um, I'll just describe some of the information we've got going on here. We've got the manufacturer's name, the device name, the chemistry, pack voltages, capacities and things like that. Uh, but most interestingly you've got cycle count here so this is the number of times that it's been charged or discharged so look um, this particular pack that I'm looking at here now has only been charged and discharged um, 196 times so you know it, it, it should be actually quite a good battery pack well we'll see when I actually put those through the capacity test through a charger discharger but hey it's given me a little bit of information um, which is useful to know before doing those charge tests. Anyway, thanks very much. Try.